Danny Fortz here with the rejection free formula, no calling, no chasing, no convincing. And in this video, uh, this Pixar tutorial, I have a couple questions that I got for some viewers and there's two questions that I'm gonna answer in this particular tutorial. So Spacey Stacy 32 asks, text box does not appear, says image needs to be rasterized. And then Teresa Nutramedics says, how do you make text curve around picture? Um, that is more of something that's not uh, native to, to Pixar, but it can be kind of, I don't know, um, you, you can kind of do a little strategy. Uh, it does take a long time depending on how many letters you're actually going to use. So without any further ado, let's jump right into this tutorial and I'll show you exactly how we can do this. So um, I'm going to go launch the web app and then I'm going to... Um, Wait for this to load. We're going to um, create a new image, and let's just pick. Uh, in case you don't know, um, you know, if you're doing something that's a video size, which let's say that I'm doing this, vi this is a video size. I'm going to pick this one down here, and I'm going to hit transparent. Um, and of course, I can title it in tutorial. Let's call it tutorial questions, just to give you if someone's watching this video for the first time. So here is my actual canvas. And so what they mean by rasterize layer is first when you grab the text and you click on the text option here. And then you click on the um, uh, on your canvas, you're gonna see that this box appears and it should appear. Now, if you type text something, let's say if I type uh, Danny, whoops, dannyforts.com. And then I want to pick a much bigger um, like fonts, thicker font, and I want to increase the font size anyway. So let's just say I do this. So I'm gonna go like this, and let's say I'm gonna pick like a, whoops. I know the Avenirs are a pretty thicker size. Uh, this is the one right here. Okay, whoops. Heavy, okay. So now, Notice like right now, basically um, what rasterize means is that this is a vector, I guess right now. And in other words, to make it pixel, uh, to have it in pixels so you can do certain things to it, add all the different effects that you want, so on and so forth. So let's just say if I wanted to um, use this select tool to add a text effect and see how it says I can't, it's got this, this um, you know, can't do sign. Um, so what happens is you actually have to rasterize the layer. So you have to be on the correct layer to do this. So because this, here's your layers right here and I wanna make sure I'm on the correct layer. So once I'm on the correct layer, what I wanna do is come to layers up here and then you scroll down until you hit rasterize layer and you click on that. Now you have the ability to do a lot of different things that you didn't have the option to do before. So in other words, I can come here, click on um, uh, let's see, that's so free transform means that I can change this all around this way, change, like, you know, angle it. Um, I can stretch it out if I wanted to, I can increase its thickness. Um, so that's one thing that you're able to do. The other thing is you're able to add these effects, which would be first you could, um, you know, select all these, let's say if I selected these letters here and I wanted to put this fade effect um, on, let's say if I just wanted to take this fade effect right here. And now I only have these these letters selected and you'll see that if I click and drag um, that now I just added some effects to the actual letters. So you see how that works. One of the things I always say is because you can see this here is if you're gonna be doing these different layers, you wanna make sure that you know whether you're gonna be using dark colors or light colors for your actual text effect because um, if you can see that the edges are, are black in this particular version. So if I was using light colors, I would want to use white, okay? Um, and then obviously if I was using dark colors, I'd want to use uh, whatever color I was going to use as my base color, I guess. So that's the first question. How do you rasterize a layer? Simple. After you type, you make sure you're on the correct layer, and then you go to layer, and then you hit rasterize. Now, the other question was a little bit more complex, and um, let's go back to the question that I had to do with how do I make curve the text curve around the picture? Um, 
it's it's not that simple, um, and there's no quick answer for that. But this would just be a band aid on a bigger problem. This is one of those things that if you were if you were going to do a lot of with your graphics, that you would want to invest in a, a paid tool of some kind, because um, I don't know of a version. I don't know how you can actually do that. So I experimented around with a little bit, and nothing I uh, found worked except doing this. Um, so let's just say if I let's just pick a, a shape here just so we can actually do this. Um, let's, let's get a circle and we're going to fill, we'll have this fill shape here. Let me turn off this bottom layer actually. And let's add a new layer to this. And let's say if we, we make this, this circle. So let's just say this represents a globe. Okay. And I wanted to put my, my letters around here. So let's just say if I wanted to put, uh, if I spelt this whole thing out, it w definitely would not work. So you have to pretty much take one letter at a time and make sure that you're using the same size font every time. So this would be uh, the D, and now I have to go here, and I have to rasterize this layer in order to be able to free transform this. Okay, um, so let's say if I free transform that, and I drop that right there. Um, and there's also no guides um, with Pixar. Yes, you can, you know, they, they give you this canvas and you can count stuff if you wanted to, to make sure you're even, uh, but it's, it winds up being a pain in the neck. Uh, so just keep that in mind as well. And the other thing that you can do is as you bend this stuff around, um, let's just let's just grab another one just to give you an example. Um, let's put the A, let's rasterize uh, this layer. And pull this over here free transform this the other thing you can do is once you have like your letters in place um, you can go back to each individual layer and you can also play with the distortion so this distortion right here allows you to drag certain points of the actual letter so let's just say if I wanted to make the um, the top of it let's just say if I wanted to shrink it down or expand parts of it uh, you could do that um, you know so on and so forth but uh, I'm not going to do that I'm just showing you that there's there's ways around uh, this this particular problem so if I wanted to add a third letter again I can come right here move move the letter to where I want it to go and then layer and then hit rasterize layer and pretty much um, go until I have you know my letters that I, I actually want to use. So the short of the answer is um, you can't, there's not one way that you can actually just spell out a, a bunch of, of letters and then bend the text. Um, there, there, there's certain effects that you can add. I know these two tools here do can kind of expand it like a bubble, but you really have a hard time kind of controlling uh, what you can actually do. And I, I don't even know if I'm explaining that right or hope that makes sense. But having said that, those are the two questions that I've just answered in this tutorial. One, how you bend the text around an object. You just have to take each individual letter and place them where you want, and then adjust each letter by using um, the, whoops, by using the free transform and uh, free distort. So that's pretty much it. Uh, my name is Danny Forch with the Rejection Free Formula. If you have any um, questions about this particular video or any of my other Pixar videos, feel free to write in the comments below the video. Feel free to like it, thumbs up, share it. Um, you know, I know you guys like these tutorials and that's why I'm also uh, going to just show you something in about the next five seconds about a different product that'll actually you can use with Pixar that'll help get you great results. So stay tuned. Here is a bonus feature I actually forgot to tell you about. So um, as you have your text, uh, your different text, um, you know, around your actual object and they're all separated, you can actually see they're all different layers and, and so on and so forth. What you can do is you can merge each layer together. So in other words, eventually, once I have all my letters in place, I can actually make them all one layer. The way you do that is you choose, you select your layer. In this case, I'm going to use N. And then I come over to layer and then I, I select merge down. Okay. And now the A and the N are now together. You can actually see that from me clicking and dragging there. 
same thing. I can now add this layer to the next layer, which would be to the D, and I can make them all one. So I can go to layer, uh, merge down, and now you can see that all these layers are now one. And so that's the way that you can pretty much um, control the text once you have it in one area and then treat them all as one. Because again, if I wanted to add some other effects to them, I could do so because now they're all on the same layer, which before they were not. So again, if I just, let's just say if I pick something different, let's say if I pick this one, and now I go, um, you know, like this, you can see that this is a different, um, you know, set now. So, um, so uh, Danny Forts with Rejection Free Formula, giving you a bonus tip here. Uh, so Danny Forts with the Rejection Free Formula, no calling, no chasing, no convincing, giving you a bonus tip. And now, again, let me show you this other product. So this, my friend, is Usine, and if you're already using uh, a graphics editor like um, Pixlr, um, you'll get so much bang for your buck out of this. This is not a free tool. However, using it in conjunction with Pixlr will put like your graphics ability on steroids, okay? Um, so I'm going to scroll down this page, and I just want to show you something. It says 100% um, free 30-day trial, and then it's $14.99 a month, unless you purchase it through the link uh, that's associated with this video and if you do so you can have a you'll only pay a one-time cost of I think it's 30 something bucks somewhere in there you'll pay the one-time cost and you have 30 days to actually get a refund if you decide you don't like it let me just show you some of the inside of what this amazing tool can actually do this is the layout and these are all different graphics that I've been working on for clients and so on and so forth but I'm just gonna go to templates to show you this these are already pre-done templates that are ready that you can actually go in. So they give you templates to actually start with. So I'm going to click on this one just for an example so I can show you. It'll take a second to load up. And you can actually see that this is, um, I would have to um, label this and I don't want to because it, it actually, why not? Let's, let's do this tutorial. So now it's going to, this I have as an actual tutorial, I can go and delete it after. But these are all these different um, graphics that already come in uh, use. So let me just show you something, Re another thing that's really cool. We have all these different elements we can add. So one of the things that Pixar doesn't do is you have to source your own uh, images and backgrounds. So let me just, let's just say this, if I wanted to pick the beach and I got all these images of the beach, I'm gonna put, click that one. Now this comes into my actual image, and one of the other things I could do is let's let's say I can whoops let's stretch all this out so you can see this here work in full effect. Um, let's do this. Now I want to send this completely uh, to the back. Okay, so it comes already with all these pre-done images and different icon sets, and I mean there's there's just tons tons like I mean pre-done. Half the time with Pixar, you're spending your time searching for the stuff you want to do and you're adding stuff and so on and so forth. So that's one thing. Um, let's go back to the main dashboard so I can show you uh, two more features before I let you go. I could literally spend hours doing nothing but tutorials just on um, Usign. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of this. Let's, let's, whoops. No, that's not what I wanted to do. You can see I don't delete much of my stuff. I'll go back and delete it after. But anyway, let's go to templates. And you can see here, um, these are you have pages and pages of templates to actually choose from, use, uh, manipulate, do whatever you want. One of the other, um, so that's the second cool thing I wanted to show you. Unlike um, you know using Pixar, you have to kind of go find out the different graphic sizes for let's say Facebook, right? And then you have some of the things that get in the way of using Facebook. Well, one example here is if you actually view what these templates look like, you can see um, what it looks like and, and before you actually wind up even downloading it and stuff. So that's one thing. So let me just go on here, like I'm gonna edit this and show you how cool this is. It shows you, um, how it would look in Facebook with all the buttons and everything in the way as well. So let's let's do. Uh, that's the only thing I hate about this is having to 
always label everything before I actually check out um, whatever it is I'm, I'm going to be working on. So you can you can see this 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 view, and now you can see that this it puts everything that would normally be on Facebook around it. So it's really really cool from that perspective as well. So you have that with all of these different uh, cool templates. There's ebook covers, um, lower thirds for YouTube videos. Um, gosh, um, let's see what else. Cards, business cards, postcards, infographics. Um, you can you can see all this stuff here. Twitter. Um, I mean, just about everything. Google headers. I mean, Pinterest. Everything. And all of these have like their own. Um, you know, their. Let me let me find one more example here, guys. Let's see. I don't want to use a Kindle cover, so let's do. Let's do YouTube channel art, or I should do a video. Let's do video lower thirds, just so you can see this. So these are all the different kinds of lower thirds that people use in in, in their videos. So again, if I wanted to check this out, here's what this one looks like here. And then I could go in and edit everything. Um, and if I don't like something, I can just go in and edit it. Same thing here. This is a lower third to begin with. And these graphics are in place and you can edit them as, as you wish. So again, um, this stuff is way too, way too cool. Uh, again, let me just show you what this would look like if it were, um, shows you the preview. Like I said, this is the only part I do hate about it. You always have them save this stuff off first. Okay, so um, let's say if I just wanted to preview what this would look like. This is what it would look like on your YouTube video. Isn't that cool? That's so cool, right? So like I said, you can click on the link and you can pick up Uzign uh, right now for a fraction of what you would pay by going to the website and actually getting your, your free trial because then you're going to be on a monthly subscription for so if you purchase it now, you'll just have uh, 30 days, no questions asked, uh, money back guarantee on your actual purchase. So my name is Danny Fortz again. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. See you soon. Take care and God bless.